Curtis, aka Flex. Now I'm going to the gym for my heavy squat session. Uh, haven't been able to do a heavy squat session for a minute, so hopefully I can get this in. Today is Saturday, November 24th. Yes, 24th. And uh, hopefully, like I said, everything goes well. As you can see, I'm still looking scruffy. Uh, I'm hoping that there's a gym or there's a barber shop not too far from the gym, so hopefully I can check them out and they could be exactly what I'm looking for. So, again, wish me luck. Here I go into the gym and then we'll check out this barber shop. All right, guys. So, starting off for my uh, leg day or leg day session or squat session today. I uh, warmed up by just doing some uh, split squats. Again, uh, I've been trying to incorporate some new ways of uh, uh, warming up than the, just the regular stretches and uh, things that I normally did. So uh, today I actually just did the uh, the actual just uh, split squats on each leg and uh, kind of just try to do it between for the early uh, sets. I have between the, each set of the uh, squats I did like I did actually uh, eight reps on each leg and then I go into the next set. I had 40 pound uh, dumbbells when I was doing that. First uh, set that it wanted me to do for my uh, program, it wanted me to do uh, 200 pounds, I'm supposed to do eight reps. Uh, managed to get the eight reps just fine. Uh, as you can see, I'm actually at a different gym. As you can see, the, uh, the rack looks a little different. You guys, if you're not watching my uh, videos recently, are most of my videos you see the yellow uh, yellowish uh, set or yellowish uh, uh, squat rack but this one is actually a black one because it's a, a different location this was actually done over the weekend so uh, actually I did a two, uh, 200 for the 8 and then I went over to uh, 240 for 6 then moved up to uh, 290 for 5 again uh, for the early sets, I actually just try to do it mostly without a belt. Again, just trying to make sure I uh, keep my core as tight as I possibly can while I'm doing this bulk. Because again, if you guys do or do not know, of course, during a bulk, you do actually uh, tend to uh, get a little uh, chunkier uh, around the waistline and the core. So I'm trying to, again, trying to make sure that everything is still as tight as possible while I uh, do this bulk. So actually, after the uh, 290 for 5 went up to uh, 330 for 4. Again, I managed to uh, get all of the reps just fine. Again, I was using no belt and uh, got all the reps uh, without any, really any struggle at all. And then I believe going into, uh, if, if not the 350 for 4, uh, it was the actual working sets is when I actually know that this actually the 350 for four is when I actually put the belt on and uh, Actually managed to get the four reps uh, Just fine. And I know if you guys notice that later on in these uh, sets or for the working sets is four reps instead of five is what the Actual program is requiring so I went into the 350 for four as you guys are seeing here and uh, as you can see, I am using a belt, and then I went up to 375, which is the working sets that I was supposed to do today. Uh, and I was supposed to do uh, three sets of four. And uh, again, I was just making sure that I worked on all, just really my, my stance. Uh, it's one thing I'm really trying to uh, figure out for myself is which stance works best for me, whether I keep my legs a little wider for a wider stance or more uh, narrow or close together for a more closer stance but uh, I'm really working on just trying to maybe even get stronger at both because again you know never know what do you the way you feel on a certain day and you want to make sure that uh, no matter what the situation you are uh, strong in both just like how I try to make sure that my sumo is just as close as my uh, conventional because again you never know the day you're feeling so anyways uh, as you guys saw that was a 375 for four, four on one section and then I made sure I showed a different uh, a different perspective as you guys know I try to give different perspectives of how I do my list so this is the 375 for the second set and then this is going into doing the 375 for the third set on the opposite side again just to make sure that you guys can see uh, not only that I do actually all three sets but actually I uh, 
uh, she managed to pull off uh, all three sets. And then afterwards, it uh, wanted me to downgrade to uh, 350 for five and uh, finish off with 310 for eight. After that, I went into doing kneeling uh, leg curls. I didn't film it because again, the gym got uh, pretty packed after I uh, did this part of it. And uh, so I did uh, kneeling leg curls. Uh, I did 60 pounds for 10, 70 pounds for 12, and then finished off with two more sets of 70 for 10. And then I did leg extensions doing 130 for 13, uh, 130 for 12 for two sets, and then 130 for 10 for the final set. And that is how my uh, leg session went for, uh, for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Continue with the vlog. So I got out of the barber shop, looking a little better now. Kept the hair the same, but uh, got myself a nice little shave. So this is what I'm gonna be rocking for the next about week or two, and then uh, back to my barber. Thank God. So uh, that's how it is for today. So I'm inside my girlfriend's car. Gonna go do some little shopping for the weekend. Uh, as you guys saw that my workout went pretty good, I can't complain, but uh, you know, next week we'll go heavier, so hopefully uh, all the lifts go good, and uh, talk to you guys in a minute.